I want you guys to just have a look at this image that I found on Twitter. You're going to see the user who it's coming from. It says somebody tried to tell me that the theatres were dead. You can see it's full. That's the line and it's going all the way to the th front. And we see this big crowd of people in the foreground. Now, this is very important because it ties in with the main topic of this video. You've seen the title of it and it's speaking about 150 million. That's a big number, isn't it? What's that number? It's coming from this source. It's speaking about Thor, the new Thor film. And it says, this film is now seeing a 140 to 143 million opening weekend. That's as of Saturday uh, in the box office update. Now, if we have a look at what we see on box office mojo and scroll down here we're going to be seeing a little bit larger of a number coming up to almost 150 million 148.9 so yeah we're getting up there very very quickly now bear in mind this has been released for two days so obviously it's over the weekend that we're seeing this and this comes not too long after what we saw with the minions film so it says this over here the minions rise of Gru is looking very good it's looking to do well this weekend as well again at the time of yesterday seeing around 45 million in the second weekend which of course was yesterday. Uh, when we scroll down a bit further, we've seen other things like Top Gun, don't forget about that one, Top Gun Maverick, which is still doing okay, and the Elvis film as well, which is still up there. But what I'm trying to say to you guys here is, I know some of you don't like it when I speak mainly about the fundamentals of AMC, and that's fair enough. A lot of people think that I should be focused on just the technicals, on just the squeeze data. But this is equally important in my opinion, because how can the price of a stock remain suppressed when the company is doing well? Because bear in mind the initial argument against AMC was the company is in a terrible state, and indeed that was true. Well now the company is doing well, the industry is doing fantastic. Earnings are expected to be coming out in the next month, around about a month from now, I believe. So we're looking at that too. And of course, Adam Aaron always on about pouncing. So that could be something to look forward to uh, as well. But all of these movies from the Minions the film that we saw last weekend, everybody expected great things, but it wasn't really like what we saw. Everybody was blown out of the water when they saw the results that we actually got from the Minions film. And this weekend as well has blown it away. Now, this is, of course, for the whole box office, not just for AMC. But do not think that AMC is not going to be getting a share of that revenue. And we spoke about this, if you remember, in the December into January period of this year. We said 2022 is going to be looking like a very, very good year for the movies. Well, it hasn't disappointed thus far. And going back to the whole short data, going back to all of that sort of stuff, how can the price of a stock be suppressed ad infinitum when the company is still doing well? And it's doing better than it ever has, or at least for a very long time. Anyway, that is all for this one. More stuff's going to be coming out later as we do want to share as much data with you as possible on this lovely Sunday. So I'll see you in a bit with another video. But for now, guys, as usual, it is that goodbye time.